Hello everybody, it's yours truly, Chicken Nugget King 586 here in the mix with a brand new video. And yes, it is breaking news. Jared Stedham will get the start for the final two games of the NFL season. And Russell Wilson will likely have to ride the pine and sit on the bench. It's the best decision going forward for the Denver Broncos. Sean Payton and Russell Wilson are not seeing eye to eye. This quarterback head coach tandem, it's not a match made in heaven. These guys expected better from their team and even within themselves. They expected a lot better. A lot better. And when you got future taking shots at you on tracks in the studio and you're out here playing like deadly poo, Broncos country and that fan base is going to be mad. They're going to be livid. They're going to want somebody better than Russell Wilson. Russell Wilson is past his prime. He isn't the same player he once was when he suited up for the Seattle Seahawks. The guy has lost his magic touch. I mean, when you've played the way you played so far into this season, not even so far into this season, but into this season, you've played mediocre. It's not elite play from a quarterback of the name Russell Wilson. It's mediocre play. It is. So Jared Stenham has to step up and play next level football in order for the Broncos to stay alive and have a winning season this season. Sean Payton isn't happy with losing. His track record when he was with the Saints was far better than what it is with the Broncos. Something's got to give here. When you're John Elway... You're, you're sitting back and thinking to yourself, like, what in the hell can we do to become a better team? What in the hell can we do to make the playoffs? What in the hell can we do to make ourselves become the Denver Broncos that everybody knows and loves? What can we do? Peyton Manning is past his prime. Don't call for him. You traded a bunch of future picks and drew lock for a guy who has nothing left to prove within himself. I mean, Hollywood is calling. That's the best bet for Russell Wilson right now. He can act in a couple movies. I mean, shit. If anything... He can be a Napoleon Dynamite Part 2. It's all there for him. <laughs> Any Bronco fan that watches this video will wholeheartedly agree with me when they feel so frustrated about this season for their team. They have luck. They... they it's not luff. It's they have nothing left to cheer for. Nothing. Nothing left to cheer for. Jerry Judy is an impact player at wide receiver. And you got Jared Stedham throwing the ball to him. Throwing the ball to him. Now all you have to look forward to is the NFL draft. Where there's Drake May, Jaden Daniels, excuse me, Jalen Daniels, who is a Heisman winner. You have to look forward to, <laughs> uh, Caleb Williams, you have to look forward to him. You have to look forward to this quarterback class in the NFL draft of the 2024 year. You have to look forward to it. So now, 
It's a strong QB class of young talent that's going to come in and look for franchises to set them up to be QB number one. Daniels should go to the Broncos. Daniels looked like a guy that could fit. But everybody else would sit there and say, small quarterbacks that can run the ball have no part in this league. And you're right. They don't have a part in this league. And for the record, I was trolling when I said that. That Jalen Daniels need to go to the Broncos. But they're not good with small quarterbacks. They're not good with those kind of guys. They like guys who can sit in the pocket and throw all day. That's what they like. This league is changing into a young man's game where you can step out the pocket and run and pass. And be treated like a running back. The Denver Broncos for these next two games need to prove themselves and not prove to anyone else that they need to win games. The last two games they need to win. They have to prove to themselves that they can finish and they can win games. That's what they have to prove to themselves. They don't have to prove shit to nobody at this point. It's a lackluster performance of a team. Mile high is truly being mile high at the moment. And you ain't even smoking the weed. But you're sitting mile high right now, okay, Denver? You're sitting mile high. And you need to lay off the weed. In the great words of Stephen A. Smith. The best thing you got going for you in Denver is the Denver Nuggets. Hello, world. We're talking about the Denver Nuggets. Not the Denver Broncos. We're talking about the Denver Nuggets. A better team in Denver who has won something. And by the way, Nikola Jokic is so far playing like Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. <laughs> I mean, what more can you get, okay? What more can you get from a mediocre franchise like the Denver Broncos right now? And any Denver Bronco fan could sit back and say to themselves, oh, we're not mediocre. Yeah, you are. You're mediocre. What have you done lately? It's a what have you done for me lately kind of thing going on. Where's the spark? Where's the energy? Oh, that's right. It's like a flat tire on a car. <laughs> you just can't go. You have no gas. You're not even at fuel. You're empty. And yes, I have NFL Network playing behind me, people. I know. I know, I know, I know. You're going to go in on me and speak about my Detroit Pistons and say, oh, well, Chicken Nugget, look it. Your team is 2-27. and 27. You can't be speaking on the Denver Broncos. Your team is 2-7. and seven. Yeah. What about your Lions? You guys haven't won a playoff game. You guys were 0-16. Isn't that mediocre enough? Well, you're correct. We've been through hell and back. But we're damn sure not Sean Payton and Russell Wilson. The tandem we have at head coach and quarterback is a lot better than that. So, with the tandem you have, it's going through a breakup right now. It's going through a soap opera, <laughs> so to speak. So you guys need to wake up and smell the green grass and be ready for the future. Be locked in for it. Because if you're not locked in for the future and smelling the green grass right now and thinking about green lighting yourselves to be a better team for the future, then you're doomed. 
Nothing more but doomed in the AFC. Hell, if Andrew Luck was playing, he'd had a better shot at taking the Broncos to the playoffs rather than Russell Wilson. And that is a fact. But this breaking news video is just to go to show you that this game of football is important to me. It's important to you. It's important to the livelihood of fans of 31 fans of football teams around the world. And even back. So what do you think of this move, Denver? Do you agree with me that this move is for the better? Or do you think that this move was for the worse? Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and holler back at your boy, Chicken Nugget King. Tell a friend to tell a friend and subscribe to the boy and follow the journey. I'm at 135 subscribers and counting. Make sure you holler back at your boy and send your salutations. I'm out. Yeah!